Vance made her final television appearance with Lucille Ball on the CBS special Lucy Calls the President, which aired November 21, 1977. That same year, she suffered a stroke which left her partially paralyzed. She died on August 17, 1979, of bone cancer, secondary to breast cancer. After her death, Desi Arnaz remarked, It's bad enough to lose one of the great artists we had the honor and the pleasure to work with, but it's even harder to reconcile the loss of one of your best friends. Family members donated Vance's Emmy Award to the Albuquerque Little Theater after her death. During a 1986 interview, Lucille Ball talked about watching I Love Lucy reruns and her reaction to Vance's performance, I find that now I usually spend my time looking at Viv. Viv was sensational. And back then, there were things I had to do I was in the projection room for some reason, and I just couldn't concentrate on it. But now I can. And I enjoy every move that Viv made. She was something. Vance is memorialized in the Lucille Ball Desi Arna Center in Jamestown, New York. On January 20, 2010, the San Francisco Chronicle reported that a local antique dealer had inherited many of Vance's photos and scrapbooks and a manuscript of her unpublished autobiography when John Dodds died in 1986. Vance and Frawley were inducted into the Television Academy Hall of Fame in March 2012. Vance was the godmother of Love and Spoonful guitarist John Sebastian, whose mother had been a close friend. Vance herself had no children.